Welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Evil Clutches series. So far in these tutorials, we have covered all the highlighted skills you can see here. This tutorial will be focusing on creating the fireball object. So far we have marked off two of the design specifications, both relating to movement of objects up and down. This tutorial will focus on the shooting of the fireball that's going to be occurring from the mother dragon object in reaction to you, um, the player pressing the space key. Okay, so, but a little bit of theory before we actually launch into the game maker um, work. So today we're gonna to put a lot of fireballs into our game maker room. Um, and we've been talking about objects. But objects actually don't go into the room. When an object is placed into a room, it's called an instance. So it's like we're taking a template from the object and producing a copy of that template and putting that into the room. So we put in a whole heap of fireballs into the room. So each one of these fireballs is like a template of the original one, of the actual objects. So they all have the same qualities and the same properties as the original object but each one can be referred to as individual um, instances. So when we say it's in interacting with an instance, it's interacting with that one instance. If it's interacting with an object, it's interacting with all the instances of that particular object. And that's a bit confusing. Well, let's think about it from the perspective of a student. So we are all, well, you are all students. Um, and I can refer to you as a student and you will have a similar properties as in you will have the same uniform and you will have a student number and you'll have a name all that information recorded but each of you are individual so I can refer to you as a whole lot of students or I can refer to you as an individual person um, and if you consider each one of those individuals is an instance of students so congratulations you can consider yourself all an instant of the object students now the next bit of theory we need to talk about is coordinates in Game Maker. So just like in all mathematical kind of environments, the coordinate of left and right is the X coordinate and the vertical or the up and down, the vertical coordinate is the Y coordinate. Now in Game Maker, this is a little bit different than what we're used to in graphing because the zero zero coordinates actually in the top left hand corner. So in your room, top left hand corner is zero, zero. In all of your sprites, the top left hand corner is zero, zero. If you want to refer to sprites further along to the right of that, then you need to add to the X. So the X, for example, over here is 400. So it's 400 sprites across. If you want to go down, then you need to add values to the Y. So down here, for example, this is 300, so zero is the X and the Y is 300. So a spot over here would be 300 comma 400. So just being aware of that. So left hand corner, zero, zero. If you want to move right, you have to add X. If you want to move down, you have to move Y. Okay, so let's make our object fireball or fireball object. So I'm just going to close up the boss, come over to here. And again, the same process creating a sprite first to actually load that information in. So I'm um, going to import the fireball, open, yep, okay. I'm going to give it a name, SPR fireball. There's the sprite. I need to edit this image and remove the color. Now it's only one frame, so I don't have to worry about selecting the frames. I'm just gonna remove that red from there. Yeah, looks about right. And then I'm going to close that up. Um, he's been saved, he's made. So now I'm going to create the actual object, the fireball object itself. So right mouse click, create object. Um, OBJ underscore fireball. And I'm now going to load the sprite in and choose a fireball sprite. Okay, all that information is all right, don't worry about that. So, we're gonna have a create event. So when our fireball is created, we want it, I'm just gonna hide that dock there, we want it to um, set direction, fly right across the screen. So, again, we're using our move set direction. We want it to move right, 
I want it to move at the speed of 32. So it's a fairly fast kind of speed. Okay. And the last thing I want, next thing I want to do for the actual fireball is that once the fireball exits the screen on the right hand side, I want that instance to die. I just don't, don't want it to be there anymore. Um, and using up our, our calculating space and our memory space. So I go into create event and the other event, which is outside room. So once it's outside room, I want, let me see if I find instances and I want to destroy the instance. So remember we're talking about the difference between instance and an object. So destroy the instance that is outside of the room. Um, and all the other ones are going to stay there. So that's all I need to do now to actually create the object fireball. But now the next step is I need to make it appear. And that actually occurs, if I scroll up here, with the dragon. So in my dragon here, I'm going to use our key down event because we want the space to actually occur. So key down a pressing space and I'm going to have a instance be created. So instance are down here. So create an instance and I want to create an instance of the fireball. Radio. So the instance of the fireball, I'm happy with that. It's creating the instance. It's going to send it off and shoot it across the screen. So let's Let's, let's go have a look and see what that looks like. So I'm going to press play up here, run. And now, oh, look at that. It is definitely shooting fireballs across the screen, but we've got some problems here because every time I press key, press the space key down, it just keeps shooting the fireball. And that kind of is going to be a bit of overkill and not really a very fair fight. And secondly, it's just shooting at the very top here. Now, of course, I knew that I was going to do that because I wanted to show you a few things. The first one is showing you the difference between key down and key press. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this key down space. I'm going to right mouse click here and I'm going to change, um, change the event. So instead of being key down, I'm going to choose key pressed space. All right, and I'm going to play that and we're going to see what runs here. And if you'll be able to hear my keys when I press it down, so you can see I'm pressing and I'm holding the space, but it only shoots one fireball per press. So that's about as fast as I can go. So that's good, that's what we want to do. So that's the difference between key pressed and key down. Um, now the second one is we need to actually work out where the um, where the firing is. Now you see here it says where the fireball comes from and it says zero zero. So you remember back to our little discussion about coordinates and zero zero is a top left hand corner of the screen. Now we want this to actually shoot from the front of the dragon. So we're actually going to say instead of being from the actual screen of the the room of zero zero, we want it to be zero zero relative to the object which is the dragon which is firing this. So when the dragon creates an object, it's gonna take whatever its location is and then fire a fireball from zero, zero there. So let's have a look and see what happens there. So this is what it looks like when you go relative. Okay, hey, and it's shooting it now from the back of his head. But at least it moves up and down when you want to, All right? So a little bit more tweaking that we need to do is you remember that I said zero zero is up here, so it's actually shooting from zero zero on the on the sprite of the dragon, and we want it instead to shoot from this spot over here. Now I know the measurements, and I can tell you that the measurements are it needs to be 90, so it needs to move to the left 90 pixels, and it needs to move down 10 pixels. So relative to the zero of the dragon. 90 and 10 will mean it should shoot relatively close to the snout of the dragon. Let's have a look at that. There we are. Just what we want. And it'll move up and down as we move up and down. Okay, so that's done what we want it to do. So now we can mark off the shooting fireballs with the space key specification, which means that we have completed all the design specifications that relate to the mother dragon object. To complete this tutorial, you have had to learn 
to um, add the outside the room event and the key press event you've had to learn about how to use the destroy instance action and the create instance action action as well as um, developed an understanding of the concepts about objects and instances x and y coordinates and relative location in relation to game maker